Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to our little video that we're going to do today. Today this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. As you can see, this is what we're doing today. The drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin. So, I have my base paint down, which is Color Place from Walmart. There's no silicone, there's no glue, there's no water in it. Straight out of the can. What I did was, to get these colors, it is a powder blue and a like silver gray. I took my golden fluid acrylics and just mixed a little bit of that into my white Color Place house paint. That's it. There's nothing else in there. So, my colors today for my drizzle we have, we have a lot going on here now today. We have the Phalo Blue by Amsterdam. We have Neon Pink by Arteza. Black Cherry by Primary Element Color Art Pigment. Emerald Green by Amsterdam. Azo Orange by Amsterdam. Lemon Drop Primary Element Pigments. Love Stroke Primary Element Pigments. Northern Light Primary Element Pigments. Neon Orange by Amsterdam, Jasmine Primary Element Pigments, and this little piggy, Mermaid Pigment. Yeah, you got quite a crew going there today. Yeah, we got, we got a crew going. They uh, jumped out at me and <laughs> said, hey, Cap, I want to do the drizzle here today because I haven't done a drizzle in a while. So I figured for all the new people that have subscribed, you're going to see how it's done. And if you have any questions then, Feel free to comment and reach out to me. I will help you. So here we go with our first drizzle color. Which is what, again? This is, don't turn on me. Um, this is the Phalo Blue by okay. Amsterdam. Of course, Kathy is using 11 different colors, paints and pigments, but the recipe for her drizzle is exactly the same for paints or pigments. And that is in video 248. And that'll give you her exact recipe, which she uses all the time, for drizzles and swipes and blooms, actually. Now, when you uh, do this drizzling on this technique, you want to take it out to your edges, simply because you don't want white edges when you swipe. Um, I know a lot of people get concerned about uh, losing their paint and wasting paint. Uh, that's just my thing. If you don't want to take it out to the ends, that's that's fine. You don't have to, but I always take it out to the ends because I just think it it just looks better to me. Some well, people like you know a lot of negative space, right. so it's up to you how you want to do it. What color is this? This is neon pink. Neon pink. Okay. Well, of course, Kathy has learned through experience that if you don't take the drizzle to the end and you want coloration that she's going to get in the end, all the way to the end, you would have to spin it more. And sometimes you can overspin it and lose your cells or distort the cells too much. So she has found that uh, that is the reason she recommends taking the drizzle all the way to the edges. And you know, you'll know that sometimes I call this a mishmash, which it ends up looking like a mishmash, and people have commented and said, oh, I can't believe what you got out of your mishmash. Because it's just like, what in God's world is she going to get out of this? Well, yeah, this is the first step of the drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. And the object of this step is to get all the different colors drizzled all around the canvas without too much of any one color in one spot. Correct. And you'll see as we go through the different steps uh, why that isn't you know really important. This is Black Cherry by Primary Elements. I love that color. Mm -hmm. We're coming up to the Emerald Green by Amsterdam now. And I get a lot of questions on how do you pick out your colors. Um, it's, it's just in my head. I can't explain it. Um, I get 
that asked so many times, how can you how can you pick out your colors? What do you do to pick them out? I really don't do anything. I just look at them all. Whatever pops into my mind at that time, that's what happens. I just can't explain it. It's just in there. In my, you know, head with nothing in it. Well, you, you've done a lot of these uh, paintings with, uh, you know, quite crazy color combinations that I never would have thought would work. And uh, most of the time they work very nicely. I mean, you, every once in a while, you, everybody gets a little clinker. They wish they would have used another color or whatever, but uh, that's the fun of it. This is the Azo Orange. Azo Orange, okay. But as you can see, it's it's turning into a mishmash. Okay, now we're going to have Lemon Drop by Primary Element Pigments. Okay. Kathy does have an Etsy shop and a Red Bubble shop. And I'll have direct links to those shops in the description box. Of course, her Etsy shop contains all her original art for sale. And her Redbubble shop contains about 80 different products that her images from her art are imprinted on. And it's a really cool site to just kind of browse around and take a look at. And uh, actually, if you're looking for some uh, nice Christmas gifts, uh, that would be a good spot to check some things out. Yeah, because the pillows behind me that we have... Um, and that pillow is from Redbubble? The um, metal uh, All right. yeah, picture, that, that's from Redbubble. This metal Red picture Bubble. is also from uh, an image of Kathy's uh, put on metal at Redbubble. So lots of cool products they have. Yeah, they really do. This is Love Struck. Love Struck. By Primary Elements. And um, people, if you are wondering, which probably some of you are because you watch every day and we tell you about the weather. <laughs> um, I have pants on today. I had a sweatshirt on too. <laughs> and I had to put the heat on because when I got up today, it was 48 degrees and I felt like I was back in Illinois, only there was no snow. Phil even has pants on today as well. And he has socks on with his flip-flops. <laughs> Well, I was too lazy to put my gym shoes on. Yeah, that looks really what tacky. What color is this? This is Northern Lights. When I saw that, I'm thinking, you know what, buddy? You're getting rid of those socks before you hey, go out with me if you wear Nobody those. can see them. Sure. Oh, that's so tacky. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, brother. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, you're getting quite the drizzle going. That's exactly what you're supposed to uh, do in this stage. We're on to neon orange. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Pigments and their products, along with Arteza Paints and their products, and KS Resin. And you can get some nice discounts through the links in our description box. So if you're looking for some nice painting supplies uh, and saving some money, uh, use those links. So yeah, people, just remember, I didn't, you know, move back to Illinois just because I'm dressed like this. <laughs> but, you know, they say it takes one year for your blood to thin out when you, like, move someplace like this. Well, I think mine finally thinned out after three years because Phil can tell you I never, ever, hardly wear sweatshirts and stuff. I'm always in my short sleeves. But today, oh my God, I was freezing. <laughs> Okay, this is Jasmine by Primary Elements. By the way, we also I also have links for the puppy pool that Kathy is using and the cake spinner that is under it and the puppy pads that she uses to line her pool. So there are links uh, to Amazon for those products, so check those out too. Yeah, it's, it's a great pool, and I do have a larger one. This is the 33. And I do have the 44 as well for the larger canvases. Yeah, I think if you get larger than, what, a 24-inch or so, you have mm -hmm. to use a larger pool. Yeah, if you have the 24-inch canvas. Yeah. 
Then I got a comment today. Someone said to me, how do you not get paint all over your beautiful room? Uh, very carefully. <laughs> well, you, didn't, we did, uh, we you did. didn't tell her that we actually have gotten paint. Uh, we haven't gotten paint on the walls. Oh, not on, on the, the walls. No, no, on the floor, yeah, but we have our tarps down, but that didn't make a difference because Phil tripped over one and then it went all over and then he stepped in paint with his shoe and kept walking down the stairs. So I had to get on my hands and knees and scrub it with a little scrubby bubby. And then he said he didn't do it. And I said, look at the bottom of your shoe. Oh, I guess I did do it. So this is what it should look like after the drizzling is done. That's exactly what you want. All the different colors just just spread all around the canvas in. I'm just popping a few of these bubbles. Okay, popping some bubbles. Okay, now we're going to do our swipe -roo. And guess what the color is, <laughs> Phil? It's my black magic. That's right. So Kathy's using a cell activator, which is simply our, uh, Amsterdam black paint and Floetrol. You can use any color black that you want. It doesn't really matter. And you can swipe with other colors too. Oh, yeah. You can use you... other colors uh, in with the Floetrol, but Kathy wants to use black on this painting, so. Uh, I just prefer black, as you can tell. <laughs> That's right. You know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So on this stage, which is the swipe, the object is to lightly swipe the cell activator over these drizzled paints. And as you can see, you get a bunch of cells of all different colors starting to form. And that was the reason for drizzling all the colors on there all over, is so you can get all the different colors popping over the whole area. You don't want to uh, go down into your canvas. Try not to go down into your canvas. Just swipe it very gently. And make sure you wipe your card off after each time. Your Kathy is using just plain old playing cards. She puts some cell activator on the back, and as she said, very lightly swipes over the surface of the drizzled paint. And look at that. Instantaneous colored cells. That's exactly what you're looking for uh, from the swipe. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Yeah. As you can see, Kathy does clean the card after every swipe. You do not want any residual paint, or I'm sorry, yeah, paint from the swipe on the card. All you want is the cell activator. Okay, we're going to keep going here, little by little. And just take your time, because you don't want to dig into your paint. Right, you do not want to rush this stage. I mean, it's fun doing anyway, so there's no reason to rush through it. No. So take your time and develop cells all over the surface of the canvas. Oh, I can't wait to wreck this little puppy gonna be cool and don't be afraid to um, put a lot of colors on because the more colors you get the more uh, it looks like stained glass correct I mean you can use just two or three colors that's fine but I like to use a lot of colors simply because I like that stained glass effect but I mean you don't have to Hello, Phil. <laughs> now their telemarketer is calling, that's for sure. Oh, gosh. I'm telling you, how many people get those calls a day? Everybody. Yeah. Even you get them on the do not call list. Okay. But the other day when Phil was uh, editing the video, I said to him, why don't you answer your phone? 
He goes, because it's on the video. I went, oh, duh. Okay. <laughs> He never turns his phone. He always forgets. Well, last night, everybody, I'm going to tell you, I was sound asleep because people think I don't sleep, but I was sound asleep. So all of a sudden, I hear this boom. I said to Phil, Phil, did you hear that boom? What boom? I said, oh, I guess you didn't hear it. So I get back in bed, all of a sudden, I just get back to sleep. I hear beep, 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 beep. I thought it was the fire thing going in the- um, Smoke detector? The smoke detector. <laughs> I said, Phil, the smoke detector's going off. He goes, well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know, I can never find it. Well, no, it wasn't that either. It wasn't. I'm a big help, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> He, he goes back to bed. I'm wandering around. It was the low battery for our chime on our security system. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a great night. I'm not getting any rest. So then when I went back to bed at 10 after 1, I, I could hardly fall back asleep. So what I did was I went and got my phone. And I wished our oldest daughter a happy birthday at 10 after 1. Called her this morning, wished her a happy birthday. I said, hey, Tiff, did you see uh, what time I sent you a birthday? She said, well, it was 10 after 3, my time. She said, I said to Brian, my mom wished me a happy birthday at 10 after 1. She's never up like that. Which, no, I'm not. Okay, so you finished the swiping. And as you can see, because of all the drizzle colors, you're just getting a super amount of different color cells all over the canvas. Now that's exactly what you want from the swiping stage. So now comes the wrecking stage. And make sure you always put your cell activator back into your little container. You don't want that sitting out if you don't have to. But it's okay. If at the end of your creation, you can uh, just cover it up. Well, yeah, a fresh cell activator is super important because that, of course, is what creates the cells. And we've learned a lesson the hard way with some older cell activator. You just don't get the cells you're looking for. No. So, so you've got your little, you're going to use a small end, Kati, this time? The pointer end or the large end? You usually use the pointer end on, I do. A, on these. So I would use the pointed end. My, more of my unsolicited advice, but... No, but you were right. Um, I was just going to uh, I mean, you don't do wanna, something a little different, but... On a drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin, you do not want to overly wreck it because you want to keep some really nice areas for the cells to develop during the spin. As you can see, she's just making frilly lines through it with the sharp end of a skewer. I think that's all I'm going to yeah. do because I don't want to yeah. uh, wreck it too much. So we'll go down where you wrecked, kind of show how you did that. Okay. And you'll notice when I spin this, uh, these cells are going mm. to expand. And so will this wrecking. It'll really expand. Right. Well, okay. that's, that's the purpose of the spinning of this, is to take these wrecking lines and these cells and expand them. And what will happen, though, is the cells will maintain their coloration. Mm -hmm. Okay, abracadabra, black magic. Let's see what we're going to do today. And this spinner in this size puppy pool is perfect because you never it never goes above the uh, top. Right, and the spinner is heavy, which you want. It is because you want to have a good solid base. Okay, see what I mean? How it expanded. Yes, that's the, beautiful. The cells expanded. Whoa, this is beautiful. And they maintain colorations and so forth. 
and see how you get the effect there of the stained glass. Did you want to spin it the other way, Lou? Yeah, this is beautiful. Yes. Holy cow. It is really, pr I, I knew it was going to be pretty because I could tell when I just swiped it already. Oh, oh wow. Well. Oh. See how she spun it again and expanded oh. the cells and the wrecking lines even more. Oh, this is beautiful. So it you're is just getting, beautiful. I just kind of want to reiterate exactly those four steps because uh, the reasons for them. Uh, she drizzled all the different colored paints all over the canvas. And therefore you see all the different colors all over the canvas. Then she swiped the cell activator over uh, the entire canvas and that created the cells over the entire canvas. Bubble. And then she did that wrecking line with the stick and that creates some interest down the middle and then the spinning that is what expands the cells so all four steps are very important and they add to the final composition of the painting and the beauty of this is that it maintains the cells the colors inside the cells and the black cell activator is very important because that outlines the cells so that they're very easy to uh, see and, and are defined very nicely. That is my black magic. It worked. Okay, yeah, hold it sideways for me here. Okay. Let's take a look at this. This is beautiful. This is it absolutely is. stunning. I love this technique. It, it's so fun. It's just, you get just a beautiful composition. Look at that area there. That's really cool. And it doesn't matter how many colors you use. I mean, every color is showing up here. Right. I always say the more the merrier, but a lot of people um, don't like a lot of coloration. I just, that's just me. Well, there's nothing wrong with this if you no. colors. If you're looking for a certain theme. Correct. You might be looking for a theme of a certain color. Um, uh, but here with uh, the stained glass effect that we like to get or you like to get, uh, it works, I think, best with multicolors. Correct. Wow, it just turned out super nice. Okay, everybody. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are trying to hit 10,000. So if you are subscribed, thank you very much. We love all of you. Uh, share this with your friends. It, like I said, if you have trouble doing this, reach out to me. I will try to help you. And um, until oh, and, uh, tap on the bell because that way you'll be notified every single time Phil uploads a video. So until the next time, everybody, I hope you stay healthy, stay safe, have a great day. See you later, alligators. Bye. Take another peek of this. Get a good overall view. And then kind of come in.